after a car accident in January, Seven Hills girl Melissa Wilson spent 18 long weeks in a coma. She became known as Sleeping Beauty, but now, thanks to the dedication of family and friends, she is conscious again and on the road to recovery. After four and a half months in a deep sleep, pretty Melissa Wilson has finally come back to life. <sighs> Hit by a car while riding her bicycle in January, the bubbly 11-year-old is currently in Westmead Hospital, recovering from a brain injury that's left her with little memory, speech and mobility. For the former swimming champion and would-be photographic model, it's meant starting life all over again. I think that was the hardest part, but then I thought, well, they're not really important, she's alive. Since the accident, Jenny Wilson has spent 12 hours a day at her daughter's side, Together with husband Ken, son Mark and countless friends, they've been constantly encouraging Melissa to learn new skills. The signs are good. Since the youngster woke up three weeks ago, she's been practicing her swimming. Freestyle. Even blowing kisses. We would expect her to take some time to show us uh, uh, how much she's going to recover, but would expect her to recover uh, a lot of her skills at this stage. Now you say, I love you. Oh. Ah, ah. All she wants to do is cuddle, kiss, and she puts sparkle into people's lives. That's what she used to do before, and she hasn't lost that. If the size of Melissa's smile is any indication of the size of her strength, she'll be walking and talking in no time. Sharon Gadella, National 9 News. Ken Suckler for Sport. Good girl. So now we've got to carry the one. So six plus six. Wow. Twelve, yeah. Plus, plus one. one more. Twelve plus. Can only go one more, can't you? That one? Is that one? Is that right? about it, 9 plus 6, because you carried the 1, 9 plus 6,
Which one here? Yeah. Good girl. Are you going back up? <laughs> what you go up for? You don't know? <laughs> What are you doing over there? What are you doing You've over there, them. Liz? Now you start from the beginning. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Girl. Space. Now what are you going to write? Mm. Big pardon? Mm. Mm. Well you write it then. Mm. Dry? You're not tall. I don't know how many wolves are. There was in wolves. Okay. Now, who's your best friend? Who's your best friend's name? Mm. Uh, okay, when you're ready. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Melissa. How are you? Mm. What are you doing? I know what you're doing. You're typing your name, aren't you? Show us how you you, you carry on now. Show us how clever you are. Mm. You just go ahead. Off you go. Okay. Type your name. Sorry. Right. Well, Doctor um, Melissa, I mean, a remarkable recovery. She's doing very well indeed. She's uh, now uh, near enough to five months since her head injury, and uh, she spent a lot of that time still in coma, but has uh, really started to show remarkable improvement in the last uh, three weeks. How does she compare to say others? I mean, is she ahead of others in terms of her progress? Uh, she's doing very nicely, considering that she's only just really come out of uh, a state of coma. Um, and is at this stage uh, starting to relearn a lot of her functions that she has uh, lost as part of her uh, her brain injury. So given that she is progressing well, I mean, what, what her, the prognosis, I guess, for the future? Well, basically, um, we wait and see how children are progressing uh, at this stage. And uh, given the fact that she is starting to gain or regain her skills uh, at a rapid rate, we would uh, uh, expect her to continue to improve to a great degree at this stage. Is it a long road ahead? It certainly is, and I guess the one thing that I'd like to uh, to um, uh, point out is the amount of, or the huge amount of effort that's been put in by the uh, the nursing staff and the therapy staff and the uh, and the brain injury unit here at Westmead. It's been uh, an enormous amount of effort from them and also from uh, Melissa's parents and her family and her uh, her relatives who've been in here on a almost a 24-hour basis, uh, helping her through this very difficult time. I suppose when people, like, you know, laymen, so to speak, hear brain, the word brain injury, it's, it's such a frightening thing, but uh, people can quite easily make a good recovery. Well, it's, uh, it's a very good point. In fact, uh, given the, uh, the fact that Melissa's had uh, a severe brain injury, um, we would expect her to take some time to show us uh, uh, how much she's going to recover, but would expect her to recover uh, a lot of his skills at this stage, uh, but it's important to point out that uh, such units like this uh, do exist and uh, put in the, uh, the the work and the the effort that are put in, and uh, we expect children to um, generally do very well. They are remarkably plastic uh, people when it comes to recovering from such uh, horrendous events. Okay, so, in, can you give any sort of time frame as to how long the recovery will take? I mean, is there any golden rule on that? I suppose there isn't. Then there's not a, a golden rule, but uh, we expect a lot of the recovery to have occurred um, within six to, I guess, nine months after an injury. Um, but uh, we still see people recovering, children recovering for up to two years afterwards. Okay, that's fine. Okay.
Certainly in terms of... Uh, Can you just, sorry, you just listen for a minute? Yeah. Yes, please. Okay, I'm just continuing. Talking, right. it's just for a two-shot, they just need my yes, mouth to move, basically. Right, yeah, right. yeah. It, I guess it, it four yeah, months is a, a lengthy period of time, but um, you hold great yeah. hope, so to speak. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we certainly expect to get up and try and do